Hi to all of you. Have you ever wondered why, during a dengue illness, the hematocrit rises and the platelet count falls? In this video, we will unravel the riddle around all of this when a mosquito carrying the infection injects viral particles into the human skin's epidermis via its proboscis. The viral particles are taken up by the specialized immune cells of our body, known as antigen-presenting cells APC. The dengue virus replication cycle will begin within the antigen-presenting cells by translation of the genomic RNA into several proteins, synthesis of negative and positive stranded RNAs and attain maturity. Mature antigen-presenting cells will then enter afferent lymphatic vessels from where it travels to lymph nodes. After reaching into the lymph nodes, mature antigen-presenting cells will produce chemical messengers. Those messengers play a role in activating cytotoxic T cells which secrets pro-inflammatory molecules also known as cytokines like TNF-alpha, NF-gamma, interleukin-6 and interleukin-8. All these molecules will then enter the bloodstream and get involved in multiple immune defense mechanisms for fighting the infection and eliminating the virus. During the process of eliminating the virus, they play role in plasma leakage. The integrity of blood vessels is maintained by glycocalyx that is composed of proteoglycans and glycoproteins. So, it has been said that those released pro-inflammatory molecules breaks down the glycocalyx. As a result, plasma will leak out into the surrounding tissues. Plasma leakage is a very serious complications that arise in dengue infections in which the fluid components of blood get leaks from the blood vessels into the surrounding tissues. When the vascular integrity is altered, volume of red blood cells rise increasing the hematocrit levels and decrease in platelet count as they get involved and maintain them.